after finishing 22 and 12 a season ago. Oklahoma State goes into the 2015-16 season with considerable turnover in the coaching staff and on the roster. But that doesn't mean you should count out the orange and black. Yeah, we are kind of a mystery team. And I'm very excited actually because we have a lot of people that really put in a lot of time over the offseason that improved. And I like being the underdogs. That makes all of us work even harder. It's a group that uh, has great chemistry. And in women's basketball, I think chemistry is so important. Uh, they like each other on the floor. They hang out together off the floor. And uh, I just believe we'll win some games based on the chemistry we have. With a number of newcomers and just two returning starters, the Cowgirls will rely on Brittany Martin, a three-year starter, to be the team's anchor. Britt uh, has, has practiced so well in the six practices we've had. Uh, she's taken her game to a different level. I think she knows that uh, she's going to be called upon to, to be more of an impact player and uh, carry more of the scoring load. and. Uh, she stepped her game up and uh, very proud of what she's done so far. I think she's stepping up. Um, I've seen her play even harder this year and she's always played hard but I think she's even taken her game to another level. She's trying to be a, a better leader this year. She's trying to really help the younger ones. I think I've taken a bigger step than I have the last few years just because it's my last year and I wish I would have learned that I need to work as hard as I am right now the entire time I've been in school. So I think I've kind of set that example for the young ones because Pretty much everyone we have on the team now is no one's really played like I have or you know been in the games for as long as I have. So it's kind of like I need to set that example. I need to be that leader that I should have been. Last season, the Cowgirls were two and six in Big 12 play before Rodrika Patton moved into the starting lineup and helped Oklahoma stay close fast and earn an NCAA bid. Patton's focus this season is improving on her outside shot. The coaches talked to me about that and it's like. And you can't, you gotta knock down shots if they're gonna leave you open. So, I mean, I had to work on it and like, I had, I knew I had to start shooting then. So, and like, I don't like when people just leave me open. I think Kaylee has a different mentality this year. She really wants to get on the floor. She's worked very hard in the off season and um, I can tell that her game has taken to another level. They're gonna have to guard her this year. She's very confident in her game and uh, you know, she, uh, She's the energy and she's kind of the heart and soul of this team. If, if you look back on last year, we were two and six when we inserted her in the lineup. Patton and her teammates spent the summer working on perimeter shooting, but a big factor in the low post this season could be Kaylee Jensen. You know, you talk about the game slowing down for you. It's slowed down for her a little bit and she's more comfortable. She's lost a ton of weight. She's, um, she's getting a little fade away in her game, a step back. She can shoot from the outside. She's shooting threes. I just. Just watch out, that's all I gotta say, because she's hard to guard, she's hard to block out. You can't do much with it if you get stuck behind her, so. Despite staff changes and four newcomers on the roster, the Cowgirls believe they have what it takes to contend in the Big 12. I think this team, we have an entire team of hard workers, so they all wanna get better. They all wanna do little things like backside help, you know, um, getting steals, being up on people on defense instead of sagging off, so I think we just have a team of hard workers that wanna get better and, um, and defense is hard work, so I think that's um, that's a big thing for us. I tell my teammates this, I, I said it's a lot of people that's doubting us because they think that we're not going to be good or they think that we can't win as many games as we won last year or whatever. But, I mean, that's just motivation for us. The Cowgirls open their season on November 13th against Lamar. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Mitch Gerber.